Now this brings us to the most important question. Why exactly did Chinese weaponry fail so badly when it mattered the most? Well, it boils down to a few key factors, like stolen designs, poor quality control, corruption, and a lack of real-world combat experience. Now, like I said at the start, most of the Chinese weapons are essentially copies or hybrids of foreign designs. Instead of investing years and billions into research and development from scratch, China often steals or copies foreign designs, especially from the US and Russia, then just reverse engineers them for mass production. Because of this slow and inefficient process, most Chinese gear is already outdated by the time it's deployed. And even then, they often struggle to properly copy and replicate it because they suck at reverse engineering. Just because China can build something similar doesn't mean it works equally well. Take, for instance, the HQ-9 long-range missile systems that failed spectacularly in Pakistan. China proudly claimed this system could rival Russia's S-300 and America's Patriot missile defenses. But guess why they made that comparison? Because the HQ-9 is literally built from stolen designs of the Russian S-300, with some components borrowed from the Patriot as well. But the problem is that weapons like the S-300 and the Patriot are built on complex coding, years of testing, precision integration, and constant refinement. Things that China has struggled badly to replicate. And that's precisely why their equipment often fails to function correctly in real combat scenarios. This history of constant stealing and copying means Chinese weapons rarely start at the leading edge. Instead, they're always one step behind, trying to catch up. Precision engineering, rigorous testing, refinement, and integration of complex subsystems are critical to a weapon's real-world performance. Things Chinese weapons usually miss out on. And as recent failures in Iran and Pakistan have clearly demonstrated, when these copied weapons face the stress of real combat, they collapse completely. They might look impressive on paper or in propaganda videos, but without fully mastering their complexity, China's cloned weapons are nothing but expensive junk. 